The following program is a paid commercial program. Views expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of News Channel 11. Well, I'm doing something different today with my food for thought, and I'm really excited, and I hope you will be too. I'm fixing a seafood dish. It's called Pasta Provincial, and it has a story behind it. And it, the story is so long that I couldn't really tell you now because then we'd miss out on making this wonderful dish. And I know I want you to have that recipe. So what we're going to start with is a four quarts of water. You're going to get it to boiling. And in that, we're going to put different ingredients. So I'm going to go over my ingredients first so that we don't get lost in this story that I'm fixing to tell you about. So we're going to take four quarts of water. And in that water, there is a fourth teaspoon of dry basil and a fourth teaspoon of garlic and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Now, while your water is boiling, on the other side with your cutting board, if fresh tomatoes are good, then we'll dice three tomatoes. Also, if they're not, then you can use canned. I don't care if you cheat a little bit and use canned tomatoes. So we'll have that. Then we will have sliced fresh mushrooms. And there again, if mushrooms is too expensive, you can always use canned, which will take eight ounces of mushrooms or a half a pound if they are fresh. Also, we're gonna chop up some green scallion onions, which would be about 12 little onions. You're gonna dice those. Now, by this time, your water should be boiling and you need to put two cups of pasta into your boiling water, which has been seasoned. Now, in another skillet, we're going to go ahead and heat our tomatoes. Then we're going to put them in a small bowl, and then you're going ahead and saute your mushrooms. In another pan, you're going to go ahead and saute those green onions. By this time, everything's ready. You're going to drain your pasta. So in your pasta bowl, you're going to cover with some saran wrap with a, about a tablespoon of butter. Now. Once this is done, you're going to save half of your water, put it back on the stove, and get it to boiling. And in that, you're going to put one pound of scallops and a pound of fresh shrimp. We get our shrimp from the Carolinas that is special shipped in, and they are wonderful. They have just a sweet taste. So now that this is cooking, you're going to take a half a cup of cornstarch. And in that cornstarch, you're going to add one cup of a very heavy cream or half and half. And you're going to thicken your sauce, which will be a white looking sauce. And the seafood has been sauteed in with the uh, liquid and it gives it that most aroma flavor with some fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Once it is thick, you're going to pour it over your pasta. I love to layer this pasta dish. Now with this dish, this is what I like to do. I take my tomatoes that I have good and hot and seasoned over top of that, and then I take my sauteed mushrooms and then my green onions. And once all that's done, it's a beautiful color, then I take my fresh uh, Parmesan cheese and I sprinkle it over it. Well, honey, let me tell you, you can't eat that pasta without some good old buttered toasted bread. And Kenneth loves it with a little bit of cheese on it, too. So this dish is wonderful. It will impress anyone. And I hope that you'll enjoy it. And I'm sure when Kenneth smells that food of cooking that I'll be seeing him in this kitchen with his bowl waiting on me to dip him out a big bowl full of it. But do try to remember, come down to the Whistle Stop and see me so I can tell you the story behind this pasta dish. It is you will laugh. Also, you can visit us on Facebook, and I'll be glad to answer any questions to help you with buying seafood, because if it's something that you're not used to buying, you might have a few questions. But honey, I love for you to call me. Come see me, though. Just come see me. And we will just cook up a storm when we're talking about all these wonderful things. And also, don't forget to put that cheese on there, because it just makes it so, so wonderful.